Get ready to explore an old movie from 1974 called The Front Page. It's full of funny, surprising, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. The story is set in a busy newsroom, following a group of reporters chasing a big story. Among the characters, who's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Did you know there are some interesting facts and stories about how this movie was made? Stay tuned as we share some cool behind the scenes info. And speaking of stories, do you have a special memory or experience connected to this film? We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more details and feel free to share your own memories with us. During its release, the movie from 1974 garnered significant attention, captivating audiences with its clever dialogue and captivating plot. It sparked a wave of adaptations across various mediums, including television and stage productions. Merchandise related to the film flooded the market, featuring popular quotes and scenes. Remakes and reinterpretations kept the story alive for new generations, influencing storytelling techniques in cinema. Overall, the movie left a lasting mark on popular culture, becoming more than just a film, but a widely recognized cultural phenomenon. David Wayne, credited by actor Stephen Boyd for saving his life during production of The Big Gamble in 1961, was praised by Boyd himself on What's My Line. Jack Lemmon, offered a role by Paul Newman in Butch Cassidy, and the Sundance Kid declined due to commitments to the odd couple and a dislike of horse riding. Charles Durning starred in an off-Broadway production of Bertolt Brecht's The Resistible Rise of Archer O.U.I. in October 22. All three actors brought unique experiences to their craft, enriching the film with their diverse backgrounds and talents. Susan Sarandon ranked 35 in Empire Magazine's The Top 100 Movie Stars of All Time list in October 1997. Carol Burnett expressed dissatisfaction with her performance in the movie. She recounted an incident on a flight where the front page was the in-flight movie. When the film ended, Burnett stood up and apologized to the passengers. Additionally, Burnett has appeared in three different television adaptations of Once Upon a Mattress, portraying Princess Winifred in the 1964 and 1972 versions, and Queen Agravane in the 25 Disney adaptation. During the making of the film, Jack Lemmon, known for his role in the front page, made a memorable appearance on The Simpsons in 1989, where he influenced Marge's decision to enter the pretzel business. His character Shelley Levine also inspired another Simpsons character, Gil, whom Marge encountered while working at a real estate firm. Susan Sarandon, also part of the front page cast, encountered a robbery during her stay at the Shadow Marmont Hotel in Hollywood. While she slept, an intruder stole her belongings. Upon learning about the incident, Walter Matthau, her co-star, offered her financial assistance to help her through the shoot. Additionally, Susan Sarandon received the 109th Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Dead Man, walking at the 68th Annual Academy Awards in 1996. In the world of movies, actor Alan Garfield faced a big challenge in his career. He had a serious stroke before shooting for The Ninth Gate. This not only messed up the movie schedule, but also raised concerns about his health and ability to keep acting. Meanwhile, Susan Sarandon, known for her acting, made headlines for a different reason. She got arrested for protesting the demolition of the historic Morosco Theater. Besides acting, Sarandon is active in social causes, which got mixed reactions from people. Looking back on her time in Hollywood, Sarandon shared about a tough audition for the Missouri Breaks. She talked about tough competition and the disappointment of not getting the role, but she didn't give up and went on to have a successful career with great performances. In the unpredictable world of showbiz, the stories of Alan Garfield and Susan Sarandon show the ups and downs of the industry. From unexpected health problems to strong activism and tough competition, their experiences give a glimpse into the complicated world of fame and talent. To sum it up, the tales of these two people remind us that every performance has a story of determination, resilience, and the pursuit of excellence. Their impact on movies will always be remembered as proof of the strength of passion and perseverance in tough times. In 1974, a film brought together a diverse cast of actors. One of them, initially part of a Broadway musical in 1964, had to leave due to a neck injury from a taxi accident. Producers sued her for breach of contract, but later dropped the case. Other actors in the film had previously worked together in different movies. For example, two of them starred in The Sting, while another pair collaborated in the taking of Pelham 123. One actor, Robert Shaw, appeared in both films, creating interesting connections. Another actor, a former journalist who started as a copy boy and rose to become a sports reporter, also contributed to a newspaper in Australia. The film's cast had diverse backgrounds, each bringing a unique element to the story. 
their past experiences, such as her Broadway journey and the journalist's roots in journalism, added depth to the movie. In the world of theater, Austin Pendleton showcased his acting skills as Lord Alfred Douglas in the lives of Bozy at the Hedgerow Theater in Media, Pennsylvania. Herb Edelman began his acting career after studying at Brooklyn College, while Martin Gable pursued acting after graduating from Lehigh University. Gable gained fame on Broadway and as one of the original members of Orson Welles' Mercury Theatre Company. Their talents and dedication enriched the stage scene. In a notable performance, Jack Lemmon portrayed a character whose demise marked a unique turn in his career. The actor, known for his versatility, showcased a different facet in the front page. Vincent Gardenia, recognized for his adeptness in portraying exasperated roles, delivered a memorable performance as well, particularly noted for his comic portrayal in the same movie. Harold Goode, who appeared alongside Gardenia, later participated in a stage production titled Viagra Falls in 26. This collaboration with Lou Kudel and Teresa Ganzel marked another significant moment in his career. Each actor brought their own flair to the screen, contributing to the overall success of the film. David Wayne, known for his Tony Award-winning performances on Broadway in the late 1940s and 1950s, made notable contributions to the 1974 film. The movie references William Randolph Hearst, who played a significant role in the newspaper industry during the 1920s. Susan Sarandon, recognized for her outstanding performances in the early 1990s, added depth to the cast. These talented actors brought their expertise to the film, enhancing its appeal to audiences. Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau co-starred in several films together, including The Front Page. Besides this film, they appeared in The Fortune Cookie, The Odd Couple, Buddy Buddy, JFK, Grumpy Old Men, Grumpier Old Men, The Grass Harp, Out to Sea, and The Odd Couple, Roman II. Lemon even directed Matt Thau and Koch in 1971. Susan Sarandon, known for her role in The Front Page, was part of the team behind the 11-part radio documentary Leonard Bernstein and American Life, which won the Peabody Award in 2005. This prestigious award is given for exceptional electronic media productions. Before her breakout role in Joe in 1970, Sarandon was involved in a movie called The Next Oasis, although it was left unfinished and abandoned. In conclusion, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau shared a prolific on-screen partnership, while Susan Sarandon's career includes notable achievements beyond her role in the front page. In 2018, a special event honored an actor known for his work in film. He was celebrated for his extensive career and the movies he starred in. Another actor, recognized for her roles in many movies, often mentions her favorite films, which include Bull Durham and Dead Man Walking. These movies stand out among her varied career choices. A director, famous for his unique filming style, used an innovative approach while making the front page in 1974. This method allowed for a quicker post-production process. Overall, the event in 2018 highlighted the actor's career, the actress has memorable movie favorites, and the director's creative approach streamlined filmmaking.